staying back, setting up their shenanigans. Blair's kind of standing. Going in, looking for an entrance. It seems like Blair is not really going to be passive. It feels like he's going to be taking on the aggressor role a little more. I feel like Sparky's really good at making, forcing him to do that. Ooh. Hmm, okay, so even if he does get to play pigeon, it looks like he gets hit anyway, so that's going to be good for this matchup. There's too many things on screen right now, I'm getting sensory over it. I can't, I can't keep up. It's too much. Reward. I can't. It's ridiculous. I love it. Two of kids. It's just like, have some night. Dude, have some side B. Wow. Oh, no, what's that? Oh, okay, so it's the wrong way. So much shield pressure Bolero coming in. I feel like you're going to see a lot of that because Sparky's just going to take some time to sit back, throw some projectiles out, and Bolero's going to have a lot of opportunities to punish that with upbeat. Like that. Ooh, but the shield. The fox. I tried to get fancy with a branch, but that didn't help. Sparky's gonna take that stock. Absolutely not gonna connect it with the knight. I didn't think this match was gonna be that hype. That was so wrong. This was like. It's like a Monty Python sketch. Ooh! That spike was beautiful. Blair was like, there's no way I'm just gonna get this kill like a normal way. Because of how because of the wall Sparky has up, so he's just like, I gotta I gotta get this off stage. I gotta get this edge guard and he does. I feel like that's gonna be where Blair is gonna find a lot of his kills, and it's with Blitz. With Blitz guarding. Or random uppies. As Polaro is known to get. And then save it for later a lot more than just kind of doing it right now. But it's not really point to me right now, but even when Sparky was at high percent. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, I feel like he saves it for when Sparky's not expecting it. Or when anyone's not expecting it, but like at this point, he just needs it. It makes it up his upbeats. Valero makes Zelda's up be its own character. Like, he doesn't need Lumos. He just needs his up be instead. Okay. Can't really challenge Zelda off the stage. Especially not as Dog I feel like the risk for that is way too high. Beautiful conversion. So he's just trying to grab the king. Ooh, shoving that clay pigeon right back in his face. Get out of here. Ooh, that looks scary. I feel like that was one of those chances that Valera might have died out. He rolls first. Let's see up top. Have him in the air. Not gonna get the cancel. I like how Sparky is keeping his cans on the platforms to make it just that much riskier for Valera to go for these ledge cancels. Ooh, the spike again. Beautiful. Felt I like it's her down there. Even though I also kind of hate that because of how long it lasts, but nonetheless, it's the most likable move she has. Three D chest, but it, it's looking like three D chest. It's taking its time. None of these characters are in a rush to get this kill, especially not Valero at 12% right now. Ooh! Ah, yeah, just barely missing. Oh, I can Sparky chill. I 
feel like, well, Deja Vu, I feel like I've seen that set more times. Just like perfectly like that. With all these projectiles out, Sparky on the platform, blow on the floor. It's like, oh, That's death. No, it's not. Never mind. Sparky waited a little bit. Like two, I think he might have waited a little too long. And that down tilt is strong, and I thought it was. Or was that forward tilt? I don't know. Might have been forward tilt. From both players, Sparky. It's really holding his weight here. Projectiles. You can keep up with all the projectiles in the world. Oh. How much money would I put on being Smashville? A lot. I would put a lot of money on being Smashville. Notification on my Discord thing from Brian saying, hey, you're wrong. It's not Smashville. Please, Brian, don't do that. Don't make me feel bad about my guesses. Hey, we got it. We got the classic here, the world of my full force neutral attack. It's been a while. These things are great. Such a wholesome, it's such a better way of communication than just changing your tag to some slurs. Just from Smash 4 whatsoever. Probably thinking about switching to a young one. He does have that pocket young link, and I feel like it might do a better job against Duck Hunter in this scenario. Actually, personally, I think he should stick with Zelda just because of that neutral. It's going to give him an easier time dealing with a lot of sparky shenanigans. Just because Young Link has more projectiles, I don't think that necessarily makes it that much easier in dealing with Duck Hunt just makes the interaction a lot more complex. Uh, we'll see what he chooses to do. Oh, he banned Smashville? Damn, all right, well. Yoshi's story. I'm surprised Sparky banned Smashville. Seems like an interesting ban. I feel like he was doing so, we can't control so much space on that like small platform. But it might be like a matchup. He might be like a wizard at every single matchup where he's like, nah, this stage, he's got it all in his head, like in a little notebook. Or in his head, like I just said, instead of a notebook. Every character and what stages they like. Nope. No, it's just. It's Duck Hunt versus Zelda. Ooh, down tilt. That's a good confirm. He was waiting for the air dodge. That was actually really smart. And, uh, and this part, he's not going to give it to him. It's just like, I'm surprised. He's normally air dodge squad. It was really good that he did for that time. This was a really bad pick for Polaro. Just because. This uh, stage of really like small blast stones. Never mind, good pick for Bolero. Small, small, small uh, yeah, zones. Good for Bolero. That's the name. Even really small platforms on this stage that really benefit Polaro. It's these platforms. 
and just give Sparky the room to just sit and wait. Can I pick up from Bolero? I do not know this. I don't know if Zelda has like really good options to two frame. I don't know if Mike does it. <laughs> but uh, being able to two frame Duck Hunt in this matchup, I think it's really important. It's so bad, and that's one of the few places you can really take advantage of is when he's recovering. What are you doing, brother? No, maybe the reflector is even not even that great in this matchup. This, this is not the fun, this is not the kind of thing I know how to commentate at ten o'clock at night. Ooh. All right, good early upbeat from Blair. Getting rid of some of the pressure from Duck Hunt. Yep, 3D chess. Actually, you know, it's more like 1D chess. There's a line. There's a line and they're just throwing their pieces at it. I'm playing 1D chess right now. That was an amazing tech from Bolero. With that little lip on Yoshi's story, not teching on this stage is really dangerous because it can send you just straight back. Straight down instead of like directly out. Okay. Or he's just content to hold shield on that platform. All player can really get to kill with now is up air. Or that. Come on, Bolero. Nice. I think this is it for Sparky. Oh no, that Uppy is gonna. Oh, Sparky chooses to go low anyway. That was really good from Sparky. Instead of just going straight to Legend and panicking. Like I would have. He waits it out and knows that Bolero is probably just gonna take this time to reset. An interesting trade. Oh, I love that game. That's so good. I don't hate it. I actually like. I don't mind. I hate it. That makes sense. That anyway. it's a I have a love hate relationship with this set. Minutes of just. I'm over here. Use my projectiles. Stay over there. And, uh, There's that upbeat. The upbeat. I just called him upbeat. That should be his name. I can find these uppies. So this game says, and that can almost kill. Him. Oh! oh. He's got the uppies. He's winning this set. He's winning this game. I'm calling it right now. He's winning it with an up air. I mean, upbeat. I'm calling it. No, I'm not biased, but I just thought that's how. It was. I'm sad that I was wrong. <laughs> Knockback on that gunman is really goofy. I was expecting it to send more like to the corner. 
my, maybe it was just bad DI on Valera's part, but I don't know. I feel like at DI, like that gunman should not have sent that way. I, I just feel like that. Knockback is really good. I feel like now. No, oh, I don't know actually. I could see Blair somewhat contemplate going a different character. I don't know if he has anything besides the uh, young Link and Zelda to uh, possibly play against Sparky with. No. I refuse to guess what stage they're going to, because I know Ryan's just going to hit me with that. With uh, actually, they're going to this stage. I'm just going to feel bad about myself. So, I'm so tempted to just be like, oh, just to... nah. I know Ryan's just waiting for that chance to be like, actually, it's not PS2. It's not the stage I think it is. I'm just using that as, as an example. FD, thanks, Ryan. It's FD. Ah. Hmm. I feel like. Zelda doesn't have the projectile power to compete with Duck Hunt, so FD might not be the move. Although, Sparky's circle camping on Triplats really bad. I can see him banning this Smashville. Hey, you know what? Maybe Zelda does have the projectile power to and test on the stage. Oh. Ooh. Okay, one right for this. Oh, yeah. Ooh! The two frame! That was an absolutely beautiful pickup from Sparky. Damage. Don't come down. Ow. Zoppies, they're working. Spark is so scary right now. Ooh! Grabbed him out of the gun, man. Oh, got hit by it anyway. So scary off stage. Sparky, you're gonna pick him up with an up air. Player was on his last stock, possibly his last tournament stock, because of the taunt. Oh my God. Ooh, the up being a classic, but it doesn't kill you. It's not gonna kill you either. There's. Get up, smash to cover the normal get up. I don't have a lot of faith in Blair or anything, to be honest. If he brings us back, he's a little heavy. Oh, of all his projectiles has been so good so far that I. Anytime Blair like even tries to get in, Good, resetting these positions. Getting all of his stuff between him and Bolero. 
like knowing perfectly what it's like. Can't hear me babbling. Ooh, that back air gonna take it. Great edge guard by Sparky. That is the tournament. Uh, Sparky taking it over Bolero. Congratulations to Bolero for second place. Both showings by great showings by both players. Love to see it.